a shirt. I think there's a shitty X-Men movie we're going to be watching. Uh, I wore my TMNT shirt in protest. The real mutants. <laughs> the real <laughs> Compared mutants. Compared to this movie. So this is his first viewing of Dark Phoenix. This is I my... skipped this one entirely. I'm like, I'm d I was done after Apocalypse. That movie broke me. I don't remember this being like the worst or the most painful. There, there's some good stuff in it, particularly early on. Uh... But it ain't good. The only thing I'm looking forward to is getting the Hellfire Club back together again. That is the only thing. Yeah, they're kind of in it. There's kind of a White Queen. Oh, I just what? don't want to ruin the lack of surprise. So, wait, wait. Uh, Are they in it or not? <laughs> it was so boring, I don't remember. <laughs> you know what? This is going to be a first feeling for both of us because I clearly don't remember that much about it. Fuck me. So, here we go, man. This is, uh, I guess both our first viewings, even though I technically saw it before. Oh. Dark Phoenix. Dark chairs. We'll need a couch for this. Dark couch. <laughs> if your movie opens with two parents driving a kid in the backseat, mommy and daddy are not long for this world. But will they be upside down? Because that's always how it works. They're always upside yeah. down. Upside down, upside, upside down, down, upside down, upside down. It's upside go. down, everybody. Woo! Okay. I'm not a doctor, but they've let me in. I'm a professor <laughs> of X. Did we establish the Cyclops uh, Jean Grey relationship, or is that just supposed to be it? God, I don't remember. No, because of these movies. Was such a wasteland of a movie. Do you even need other X Men with this guy? <laughs> but yeah, if he gets knocked out, which yeah. happens later. <laughs> Our commander, he's not here. He was in the airlock working on the thruster. Um, he got sucked out. We're going home. Right? Right? That's our story, right? <laughs> Are you going into the cold vacuum of space? Duct tape. Like a scene like this would work if this was a major established character mm. that we'd have been following almost from the beginning. Yeah. And you're like, whoa, what's... But we have, Rob, five different versions of her. <laughs> I, I know. Like, this never got it right. Never! No. Enjoy yourselves. You certainly deserve it. In fact, you all do. No more class at the end of the day. Yeah. No more class because we're yeah. awesome! I basically did everything. It was mostly all me. I mean, I mean he's, he's right. right. <laughs> yeah. They're not kids anymore, Raven. Honestly, I think you're all about the same age. <laughs> Being on the cover of magazines, getting a medal from the president. You like it, don't you? Boy, she's really phoning it in. Yep. For keeping the peace. By risking our people to save theirs. Yes, yes. Look at him. He's like elevating it. She's just same note. Yeah. That's funny. The women are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name to X Women. Oh, hashtag me 1992. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, fuck you, series. Write a good female story then. Throwing a catchphrase in there does not all of a sudden mean like, oh, see, we fixed the problem. Sugar in water. <laughs> <laughs> finally, finally, redemption for Dazzler. We finally got Dazzler in one of these, man. I was more of a Kitty Pride Jubilee person. No, but just the fact that Dazzler is in this at all. It's like going to a really crappy restaurant. It's like, oh, I got served a pile of shit, but the cherry on top is nice. It was a good cherry. <laughs> Whatever's going on between you two, it'll blow over. No, it won't. I love him, but he's different. Not like me. I stay the same. Everything I say is the same. Move on where? Accessing reply. Just Charles. <laughs> this is the first AI Honestly. job, and you know what? Honestly, just put robot sounds before every reply, and it just makes total sense. <laughs> Move on. I feel like that's how I've seen Jean in like every incarnation, unconscious. So this is how you found her, Scott. Undressed? Um, yes. I had to make adjustments to her mind when she was young. This is unethical. Not really. I'm not a real doctor. <laughs> Charles, you can track her with your mind. Prepare the jet. We're gonna find her? No, we're going to space and getting the hell off this planet. It's doomed. Was it the Kree? Or who the fuck were these people? I've seen nobody in the Hellfire Club yet. That's what I'm saying. I think they're like oh. sort of meshy and big. Oh, are you saying the Hellfire Club isn't in this at all? I'm saying I think you just saw them. <laughs> fuck <laughs> off! 
like in the comic, didn't they? They fucking gaslit her or something. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like they were making her see the mansion. Yeah, like, yeah, they yes, yes, this is happening. Yeah, yes, they were making yes. her see shit. Wouldn't that have been like awesome if we visually that would have been really not cool, only yeah. but if we tied it back to first class and this is like the Hellfire Club's clubs like final revenge. Uh, like, like we're gonna take the X Men down from the inside out. So I have nothing to look forward to now. Dazzler might perform again. Fuck Dazzler. We're gonna watch Gem. I don't have a home. You made sure of that. Or an American accent. You don't know what it's like just when it comes. She's got two modes of acting in this. It's either constipated or skip the x lax I'll go straight to the enema. <laughs> That's it. I think I promised her a better life. And then you took it from her. Yeah, well, can't make an omelet. <laughs> you beaut. <laughs> Sorry, it's my bald head. I always go for the egg metaphors. And who are you supposed to be? We're the ones who are going to help you, Mr. Gray. I'm here because Tilda Swinton said no. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Man, if you brought the Hellfire Club back too, and you've got Magneto too, that'd be revenge for what he did to Sebastian. Ch no, you're right. Why it would be cool to have him in here. Like it would have taken time away from Gene, but they're not establishing anything with Gene anyway, so exactly. why not? Oh, my community got my zucchinis! Gonna win the pumpkin patch contest. No, no, Gene, not my azaleas, no! <laughs> Damn it, my prized heirloom tomatoes. The Gene Gray incidents after destroying two communities. I suppose I'll get blamed for this. <laughs> <laughs> Try to go eternal sunshine of the spotless mind on one troubled teen. All right, 16 troubled teens. I should really look in on the other 15. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many times he's done this. He's yeah. just sitting on a powder keg <laughs> of teens with repressed so memories. Charles. 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 Thank Charles. You. Charles. Thank Charles. You. <laughs> You're looking for Jean. Yes, has she been here? <laughs> the only person here afraid of your power is you. Actually, the sad thing is, I think she would have been a good Emma Frost. I, I thought the actress that got to play Frost in uh, First Class was a little weak. Didn't really suffer. Not for long. I mean, her last words were... <laughs> Cut! 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 You all right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the best line in the movie. Still up. Soft reboot it as a horror series. We'll get another Game of Thrones actress. Well, it looks kind of like you, but smaller. Jean. 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 Charles. 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 <laughs> no, I feel sorry for the helicopters in this movie. They are just not being treated very well. Pilots did not deserve this. Scott, get me to Jean. All he does in this movie is say, carry me, get me here. Everyone's his Uber. Something I just realized too, at least when the X-Men movies were bad, it's like, oh, but I can see what are, Bishop or something mm -hmm. like that. Like, all we got in this was Dazzler for a second. There's like no new mutants. That's like, ooh, that's exciting. Here, there's no new mutants in this. Yeah. Why are they showing that like that's the first time we've seen that in an X-Men movie? Uh, I know. <laughs> Gene, behind you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 She's right. He didn't even look that bothered. Like, eh, she's free. Dog free. Start a game of strip poker. I'm here to finish. Oh man. Yep. I think you kind of nailed it though. Like, there's good. Individually, the scenes aren't bad. They just have no context or relatability or anything built up to them. That and the finale sucked. Yeah. It just it looked like just like the Brian Singer film again, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's almost like the writer was doing a fan fiction thing mm. where he had like these great scenes in his head and it's like, this is what I wanted to see in the next men movie. But he didn't have the setup. It's almost like he assumed the other movies did it for him. And I'm like, they didn't, they sucked. Imagine a plot where you had Mastermind in it and Emma Frost and, and some of the Hellfire Club and, and they want revenge for what happened in first class. 
And so they well, especially gas- messing with her mind. So and they everything mess really with her mind and gaslight her. But imagine if what she finds out about Xavier is true. And at first she thinks she's being gaslit again, and she finds out like, no, that's actually reality. That really happened. We ain't making that up. She still doesn't have any agency. Really. No, <laughs> she's just like it's like all oh, these men abused you. Now do what I, the alien, tells you to do. It's like, okay. This series is as bad as Spider-Man for how many times it's been rebooted and fails and comes yeah. back again and fails. And guys, about it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, we do a funny thing at the end of these, don't we? Not for this. Yeah, that's not worth it. <laughs>